Krishna Prabhu's. Uh, we ask everyone come off the main road. There's a lot of traffic on that road. And if your devotees are all spread on the road, the, the cars will come and you'll get this, you know, there's so much noise from their, uh, their uh, horns or traffic. What do they call it? That horn. So please come off the main road. Come inside. There's space here. Both sides of space. You can come in. Come off the main road. Keep off the road. If you're on the road, then all we'll hear is the horns of the other cars as they come by. So please, keep the roads clear. Keep off the road. Come inside. This is our own land. We purchased this land some years ago. Gradually, we're getting our own camps in these different islands. Now we have camps, our own land. Like last night, we stayed on our own land. So each of the camps actually is land which we purchased. And only in the recent years we managed to purchase the, the land. And it takes time to develop them. Uh, the putting in pilots and bathing facilities, gradually, you know, gradually in, improving a little bit. But it takes time, it takes also money. All right, so this is Puskar, across the road, that was Puskar. We're going to hear about the wonderful pastimes of Puskar. Hare Krishna, hope you are able to hear Maharaj. If you are able to hear, then move forward, please. Don't block the road. Move forward. Everybody just can't go. Nobody moves. Anyway. Alright, so Puskar. We'll tell a little bit about Puskar first. Maybe some people don't know. Uh, Puskar, anyway, is the place where Lord Brahma is worshipped. Lord Brahma, uh, one time it's told, the Pananas tell us that one time Lord Brahma was engaged in doing sacrifice and when you perform sacrifice when you do some yagya you should have your wife with you by your by the side when you sit and do the yagya so lord brahma was waiting for his wife to come who is the wife of lord brahma yeah. who is the wife of brahma Saraswati. so he was waiting for the wife to come and it was coming to the auspicious time, you know, that everything's done, karma candy activities, there's auspicious times when you do this, don't do that. So the auspicious time was coming for the yagya to be done, and they were saying, you have to, we have to do it, it's coming up. So he's calling his wife, and the, you know, the wife is saying, I'm coming, I'm coming, give me more time, just let me, you know. You know the ladies, you know. <laughs> they need a little time. So she was telling her husband, just wait, I'm coming just now. And it came time and, and still she hadn't come. And the Brahmana said, well, what are we going to do? Your wife didn't come. So then he suggested, anyway, you know, look, take another wife. <laughs> Here's a nice girl. She can do it. So this other girl, this was Gayatri. So it then happened that Gayatri sat with Brahma and he did the ritual. And then Saraswati came. And so what did she think? Hell has no fury like the wrath of a woman. You heard that before? Yes. It's a famous movie. <laughs> And it, it, it's, it's true. 
Anyway, Saraswati revealed the wrath of a woman and she cursed Brahma that you, what kind of husband, you could not wait for your wife to come, you took a second wife without even asking my permission and so she said, I curse you, you will only be worshipped in Puskar, only in this Puskar place, you won't be worshipped any other place. So that is the situation. You won't find any other Brahma temple anywhere, at least in Bharatvash, only in Puska. <laughs> Maharaj is saying in Thailand they worship Brahma, <laughs> but that's outside Bharat. <laughs> okay, so that that was the, the and then there's the other Leela, which we're hearing about in relation to the Mayapur Dam that Pushkar, there was a, an, a Brahmana, he was doing Parikrama around all the holy Tirthas and after some time he came here to Navadvip Dham. While he was here, he had a dream and in his dream he got instruction, divine voice was telling him, just stay here, don't go any other place, just stay here in this place. So the Brahmana but, you know, this instruction is coming to me, I should take it, it's coming from the Lord himself. And so he just decided he just stayed here. He stayed right here in this place. And he, he was, he stayed here for years and he got, in his old age, he began to lament that, oh, you know, I never got to go to these holy places. I missed the opportunity to go to Puskar. I never got to go there. You know, Puskar is over there in Rajasthan. There's a big, big, big lake there. That's where Brahma is worshipped. And he thought, I never got the opportunity to go there to Puskar. But then he had a he had a dream, and in the dream he was told. Go and take bath in that kund, just over there, and he took bath in that kund. And when he was bathing in the kund, then at that time, Puskar appeared to him, the personification of the holy place. Puskar appeared in front of the Brahmana. And the Brahmana felt guilty. He thought, oh, oh, I've given so much trouble to Puskar, that she has come here just for my benefit. But the personification of the holy place, Puskar, said to the Brahmana, No, no, you didn't give me any trouble. I didn't come from there. I reside here eternally. This is my place. This is my home. It's at that place over there, far away. That, that is just my expansion that is some other you get a hundred times more benefit bathing here than you get over there so that is the the glory of this holy place puskar that uh, puskar personally appeared and told the brahmana that this is puskar and that other place over there that is just my my uh, embassy if you like <laughs> So this is the past time. We're going to see the drama. We're going to have Pancharatna, um, if he's ready. He lost one of the actors somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they fell in the pushcar. Or... <laughs> one, one, one minute. Uh, our dr dramas are quite spontaneous, you know. Yes, they are. <laughs> In fact, the actor that was going to, one of the actors, just dropped out, and we're just preparing another one, a substitute. So just one minute. So, which island are we in now? Madhya Madhvi. And what's the process in Madhya Madhvi? Maranam. So, are you remembering? Practicing remembering. So we began in Antardweep. 
Answer tweet. What's the process in answer tweet? Full surrender. Atmani Vedana. Anta meaning hidden. Hidden. What was hidden? The, the, the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What was in the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He had that desire to experience that love which Radha has for Krishna. And that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared there in Antar Dweep. Antar meaning hidden. The hidden desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was to experience that desire, that love which Radha has for Lord Krishna. So Paturatna Prabhu is ready. Hare Krishna.